uh, adding her name to the list of accusers of inappropriate behavior uh, with them by Donald Trump is a former Fox News anchor named Juliet Huddy, who says that Donald Trump tried to kiss her on the lips. Uh, Juliet Huddy, I think she moved from Fox News National to a local Fox News station some years ago. And I don't even know if she's still on a local Fox affiliate. But in any case, at one point, she was a relatively prominent anchor on the Fox News national channel. And she says that she was in an elevator with Donald Trump in 2005 or 2006, and that he tried to kiss her on the lips when they were in the elevator. She says she didn't feel threatened, but was sort of surprised by the entire thing. A quote from Fox News anchor Juliet Huddy reads that, quote, he took me for lunch at Trump Tower, just us two. She said on Compound Media's Morning with Bill Schultz, he said good goodbye to me in an elevator while his security guy was there. Rather than kiss me on the cheek, he leaned in to kiss me on the lips. I wasn't offended. I was kind of like, oh, my God, now I've matured. And I think I would say, whoa, no. But at the time I was younger and I was a little shocked. I thought maybe he didn't mean to do it but I was kind of making excuses. She eventually left Fox after making a sexual harassment claim against Bill O'Reilly, which interestingly at the time, Donald Trump said he didn't believe Juliet Huddy's claim of sexual assault against Bill O'Reilly. Take that for whatever it's worth at this point, given Bill O'Reilly's resignation and shame from Fox News for serial sexual assault of women. And the truth is that this is just as bad as an allegation as what ultimately led to Al Franken's resignation. But we know that the right isn't going to react to this in the same way that the left does. And we know that because they elected Donald Trump, right? That's the proof. And also, not that it matters big picture at this point, who, who knows what's going on in Donald Trump's current marriage, but Juliet Huddy says that this happened in 05 or 06. Trump married his current wife and current first lady, Melania Trump, in January of 2005, which effectively means that unless this happened on New Year's Day to Juliet Huddy, Trump was also married when this took place. Not really a major part of the story. The real story here, I'm sure you would agree with me, is that Hillary Clinton sexually assaulted a pizza boy at Comet Ping Pong while personally murdering Seth Rich and Robert Mueller refuses to look into it. Uh, I, I've not actually heard that said by anybody on the right yet, but there are definitely some recesses of the internet. In fact, there's a popular one on Reddit where you might hear something that uh, outrageous. But anyway, Trump was a Democrat at the time he did this, so no, no need to check it out. Alternate universe alternate universe that we are living in right now, a truly bizarre time to be alive. And my, my growing question every day is, in 25 years, how will the history books and history teachers and history classes teach what it is that's taking place right now? That's a growing question that I have. Uh, give us a like on Facebook, facebook.com slash David Pakman Show. We'll take a break, a lot more news breaking over the weekend, and we'll talk about it coming up.